So I've decided, after a lot of thinking, to make a wooden hull. Like a, another torpedo boat, exactly the same, with a wooden hull, uh, hull out the inside and plywood and some other stuff and then metal decking maybe. So I'm just actually trying to design templates for the hull for the wood structure first. And these are going to be the shapes of the hull going up the hull in different sections as you can see it by the paper template. So I'll know where to put these templates to see if it's the right shape. So, just get something interesting that happened. I photocopied this and cut from the, the original paperwork, cut it out, put it on a carpet. But I was looking at it going, there's something wrong, it's not matching up to my actual top of my boat. The photocopier made it a little smaller by this much look. Like eight millimeter here. Well, that's nearly seven, yet yeah, seven. And this one's nearly eight. So it shortened the boat up and I actually had to find out where I could create the proper stencil once more. So whatever happened, as you can see by these, this is how I went to put this on the side of the boat and it didn't fit. Look, it's short. So I realized there's something really wrong here. So I've corrected that for the time being. And so my stencil for the hull on top will be correct, which is really important. So, you know, if you put this along this side, it doesn't go correctly at all. Look, this serves here and it should be down here. So I have to correct that as well, maybe, for stencil purposes. I mean, they're all off now, all of them. Look at that. Unbelievable. Gotta watch it. Yep. So I finished the loft. Um, the strobe, I'm sorry, is the LED light here. Do this. I've got to correct that. But um, I'm up here in the loft where I was doing the stonework. And this will be my first wood cut in the loft. I'm going to do all the messy stuff up here from now on, I hope. I'm cutting the um, piece of wood for the hull of the torpedo boat. block of wood. I have my template. I've already penciled out a line here. So that's the way I'll carry on now. There we go. First piece of wood cut. I should have broken open the champagne. That's what I should have done. A little chip there, but anyways. It's one side of the bow done. We're getting there. This vice isn't the great, it's not as good as the one downstairs, but it'll have to do. So this is where I got today. I was up in the attic, but it got too hot, so I came down here. But I got the main cutting done up there. <coughs> I'm using mainly a rasp. The file seems to get too chippy. So I'm trying to rasp. I cut it very close with the saw, and now I'm trying to rasp it into shape. Some of it is more by instinct than using these things yet. They're not there yet. They'll come in a while and then I'll pencil in lines. And I made it a little, just a tad wider so I have some room to clean it up. Also because this is a little narrower than the original boat. This one here, the paper boat I was building. That's my top. Oops. I uh, mostly get the hull done and wait until I get some tin somewhere. But you know, it's shaping up. Not bad. It looks pretty good. <clears throat> Let's take uh, three is right beside this here. And if we get it here, we'll see we're still a long way off what, what I need. Right? So I have to shape that so that hull comes up like that. So this all has to go in here, this meat here. 
Anyways, there I'm at that, and that's called a rough in. That's how you rough in a boat. Wood hull. I was going to make it out of tin, but it's not worth it. This will shape up nicely once I get the shape. What you got to do is shape and shape slowly, because if you look at this, this is a lovely shape underneath here. I really like that. So I've got to get that feel again. Speed. It's got to look like it has speed. At the moment it looks like a tugboat or something. Yeah, today I just wanted to chat about making a wooden hull and how to go about it. I started when I was uh, very young, like eight, maybe even younger. I made, you know, block wood boats and cut kind of cheap angled fronts and all that. But later on, my um, uncle, uh, my uncle Don, I used to call him, Don Bartlett, uh, showed me how to um, carve wood and that. And I've been doing it for many years. But I started off really and really enjoying the plastic kits. And I remember, I remember us going to a birthday party. There was this German lady and she gave us all a, a plastic airplane to make, a simple one. I was so pleased that I went to that birthday party and got that plastic kit. And like, you know, the glue was there and everything. We were making right away. I was just so excited and enjoyed it so much. But I did the boat building <coughs> with my Uncle Don. And, you know, he would show me how to carve the holes and all that. And, you know, when you're younger, you don't always pay attention to it as much as you should. But now, you know, I can see... You know, in my later age is what he meant. You know, this hole is still kind of flat here. But if you look at this hole here, it's got a curve on in it. And it's that shapes that really make the boat in the end. You know, uh, every little thing, like the shape, the flare in here, makes it look like a torpedo boat and makes it look fast. Whereas if it's bulging out, the boat won't look like it's a fast, fast boat. It'll look like a tugboat. So it's all in kind of the feeling, the aspect of it. And you can have all of these gauges and everything you want, but it's actually really in carving it and feeling it and getting the right feel for what it looks like. So that's what we really want to be looking for. When you're carving, I'll just show you what I'm doing here. I'm doing a rough Dremel out and all that. Like, not Dremel, but um, cutouts. Use a bit of a Dremel here to get it half round. Um, I mainly rasp this with just a standard rasp, you know. If a young person wants to build one, they don't need to use machines. They can use a rasp and that kind of stuff. And I suppose if you want to hollow out, which some young people don't want to do, you don't have to hollow out. But if you're going to hollow out and you're old enough for drill, great. But if you're not, get someone to help you. Um, yeah, I've cut the line here with the Dremel's. Dremel bit, but you know, you can use a saw and a file as well to get this line up here. And then you can chisel it out or file a line out and it'll come down and get it down slowly. But you know, trying to get this shape, see, I mean, look at that, it looks like a tugboat still. But look at this paper one, but look at the shape of the front of the boat. Cutting water, and you know, that's like plobbing it aside. And, you know, that's what you want. You want this beautiful kind of uh, angled shape coming up. And it's all about feeling the um, filing and feeling the, the curve that it's right and it looks right. The boat has to look right. And you know what? The hull is like the big thing. If you start with basics. If your hull isn't right, you're in real trouble. you got to get the hull looking really nice so you're really pleased with it. Then go and start putting on the decking. Now I'm going to haul this out too to put on decking. But I'm going to keep at this until I get a really good feel that this is really what I want. You know, I've kind of sometimes went, oh, that's okay. You know, the hull's okay. It'll do fine. But, you know, compromising on the hull is not the way to go. You know, so we're going to do this one really nice. And we're going to keep at it till it's really... Uh, this one still is getting filled, this paper one, by me, because I don't like this little dip-ins here. And I'm trying to get the shape of that as well. But that shape is going to be the shape on this. So, But, you know, I do have cards here. Um, we can take one. 
L5, L4, L5 is back here somewhere. See, and you can put it on the shape. See, it's getting there, right? Look at that, it's getting there a bit. But um, I find sometimes they're handy to have, but you still want to like look at it, look at it at the front, especially at the front like this. See if they're equal, there you go, to see if you got this equalness here. And you know, when you shape it in in the curve and you really like it, it doesn't matter what the card says, although the cards help you get to the, close to that point. So that's what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm going to get back to carving. I cut out along this keel here, and I'm going to chisel it out. And I usually cut in here a little step before I drill now, because I do have Dremels, which is the modern technology. Before I used to drill small holes, which I still do, and then larger holes. But then you'd have to chisel the corner, edge out, which was very difficult. And often you might slip and ruin it all, so. So i got to get back to filing. Anyways, that's a little bit about the hole for everyone. So I laid out a grid pattern. Now I'm going to take these uh, new wood drills I got here, I'm going to test them out. Go from small to larger to larger to larger. And you know, if they're a little bit off here, you just stop when you hit the... Um, I'll make a line here where the edge is. It's, well, it's about four millimeters in. So I want this, I'll unlock this to show you. This is nine roughly, and this is going to come out four, so it's going to be, I hope, round five millimeter edge, right there. So I'll mark the edge, and then I'll start drilling. Yeah, so I marked the drill how far it can go in. It goes into the edge of this thing, 10 millimeters. And now I just take the drill and start drilling holes till I'm blue in the face. do that a thousand times with all of those and then we'll go larger so that's how it's gonna work and we're getting there right now when you get up here you got to be careful because when you go on this outer bow you could come out through this right when you're here so go put your depth a little less on the edges when you're drilling or a little bit less on the upper deck because of the flare here, you could go right out through the hole. So be careful of that. So yeah, this is round one. And now I'll enlarge the drill a little and see what I get. And keep going. And in the end, I'm also going to use a Dremel to make a slice along here. A very careful slice. And then clean up inside afterwards so I don't split the edges. So I'm just going to change large drill and start drilling. So there you have it. I drilled a second drill and went, started breaking up. And then I ran Dremels down, blade down here, like a Dremel saw. I had a little slip in here. But you know, it's just like a little nick. But you do have fillers if you really get stuck. There we go, the fan's off. So I've chiseled out this hull here. Not too sure where I'm going yet, but as you can see, it's kind of like a copy of the torpedo boat, paper torpedo boat. But now I've got a lovely shape, you know. It's like it's gonna cut water, you know. So now I'm outside put a decking up in here. Somehow, like it clips on or drops in, I'm not too sure yet. Obviously, I'm gonna make this one flush. I didn't really need to hollow that out there, but I do like the feel of it. Gives it a lighter feel. I just did it also for de oh, sorry about the camera. I also did it for demo purposes. And I needed hollow for this. That's what it was. It was hollow for this gun turret area. Which I hope, if we get a caliper, is going to be deep enough. Oh, it is, because... Oh, there we go. So, we'll go from the top of the deck roughly down. Uh, 16. Oh, yeah, we'll make it. So we'll get our deck in here. 
our little, I mean, machine gun area. So that's a good start. So there you go. I'm gonna leave this aside for a while. Get back to my paper.